Hello everybody, this is Sirik1983, and welcome back to my little world of Minecraft. Uh, right, <laughs> as you can tell, I'm still in the same spot, because still got the same world as the last video, because I'm happy with what I've done with this world so far. Uh, still not really exactly, exactly happy with this wall being here, but nonetheless. Alright, so, uh, now you might notice there's a couple of things different about, well, what you can see immediately here. I've only got, uh, two, two trees in my tree farm down there, um, and I've got a couple of, uh, jack-o'-lanterns li lighting up the garden down there. For the garden itself, I expanded the variety for to uh, you know, uh, you know wheat and then uh, the reeds or I guess sugarcane now, and then uh, I have usually have three cacti there. But the uh, reason I don't have anything planted right now is just because well, this uh, bin over here is getting pretty full, so I figured yeah, I'm pretty much good for now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the trees out here, but I won't bother cutting them down yet. All right. Um, well, let's uh, head down and uh, show you what it looks like down here. And as you can see, there are no torches in here. Why? Well, because torches will not forever be a uh, permanent source of light. So I decided to convert my home into uh, lit by lava. So that's what I've got here. So I haven't had anything spawn in here, so I'm happy. <laughs> and as you can probably tell here from here, actually, I got my uh, pickaxes here. I got my sh oops, didn't want to do that. Got my shovels here, got my weapons in here. Um, as far as this area goes, if you remember from the last video, the uh, this used to be, I guess, an area where I was considering using to, you know, stockpile like, uh, uh, you know, things that would be I would be getting from my uh, mobs, my mob trap, or my monster trap. So obviously, I've changed that up a bit. I've changed it into a sort of a garage type area. Uh, what I actually in intend to do with this track here is uh, when I'm done the uh, mobs, the mob trap, which is what's going to be the pièce de résistance in terms of uh, what's uh, going to be scheduled for this video. But uh, yeah, when I finally get it done, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put a, a motor, like a uh, yes, a powered minecart here, and then put an empty minecart here, and then put one piece of coal in the uh, powered minecart and have it push me as far as it takes, as far as one coal will push it. So, uh, yeah, obviously I'll have to build a lot of track and send it out in one long direction. That uh, tunnel there isn't, uh, it just leads to a dead end so far, so uh, I won't bother showing you that. Anyways, uh, actually, while I'm up here, I might as well move this stuff down, because I am part done part of the... Uh, um, I am building the first of the four uh, mob spawners, <laughs> or mob traps. Four? Yes, I said four, and I'll explain why when I get there. But anyways, I got my coal down here, lots of coal there, uh, sand, clay, dirt, uh, gravel, and uh, flint. Process of converting all that gravel into flint. Uh, I got a bunch of other stuff in here. This is all the minerals I've mined so far. Yeah, <laughs> that's just from digging out the um, the trench for the f the first one in a bit. But to, yeah, and I got my wood in here, and then I got stone in there. I use that for tools, and obviously I've still got my food down here. But that, and I also got my incinerator right here with the uh, the the brick. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you call that brick molding. I don't know. All right, let's head down. As far as M1A and M1B go, I have not done anything with them, so... <laughs> I've been working on something else. And I am happy with it so far, and yeah, I've got a couple of guideposts here, because, you know, how we, you know how when you start climbing ladders like this, sometimes you can slip off. Yeah, this prevents me from doing that, and not only that, but if I do something stupid and I manage to kill myself trying to jump down here, uh, then uh, yeah, all the stuff that falls down here will just end up around here rather than all over the floor, so that's why I've got that there. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's go out here first. This is, okay, so this line of torches right here is just to remind me that there's a, a pool of lava behind there, and that's, this pool of lava is pretty much what gave me my, uh, lighting upstairs, so. But yeah, it was a pretty damn deep pool. It was, uh, yeah, blocked that off because I had guys falling in, falling in in here, but, uh, so where I'm standing right now, everything below here, well, I took out these three blocks here or whatever, and, uh, I guess one down there as well, but, uh, from here below uh, into this corner was all lava, so you can imagine how deep that thing was, so yeah, I, uh, took out a lot of lava from there to light up my place upstairs, and that's what I've done. I think there's a cave through there, so I'll have to go exploring it at some point, but not today. I haven't been doing much exploring at all. <laughs> uh, I think the most exploring I've done was when I had to go out uh, for two days or in in game to uh, 
a fine cactus, but uh, I found it. All right, and as you can see here, we've got lots of bones, lots of feathers, lots of arrows, lots of sulfur, and strings a little hard to come by just because of the fact that uh, spiders can now climb walls. So yeah, I'm sure there's probably tons of spiders out there. They just haven't uh, fallen into the holes or anything like that. So, anyway, so if you're wondering what's in here, this is all pretty much cobblestone. So yeah. Uh, 9 times 6 times 64, that's how much cobblestone is in one of these containers. I'm uh, slowly depleting it though, for one particular reason. Those are the only four that I've dug into so far, actually, I think, I've, no, okay, yeah, it's all pretty much filled. Yep. All right, let's go take a look at the what I'm actually been up to. All right, so here's my my infinite pool of water. Uh, one bucket of water there, one bucket of water here, and that's enough to, uh, it makes it a two-by-two two square, and you can take as much water from this thing as you want. So that's basically what I've done, which is what you saw all the, uh, I guess, the uh, the buckets in there for. All right, let's, uh, before I show you the mob spawner, let's head up here. I suppose I could have shown you what this thing looks like from the outside first, but well, I'll take you the, the scenic route. <laughs> hey, it's midnight. But yeah, this uh, stop right here is the, I guess you could call it sea level. Uh, so this is where I've been... Whoa, you scared the crap out of me, sheep. <laughs> yeah, this... so, very rarely I'll get... Uh, enemy or bad mobs spawning up here, but I haven't had any recently, and that kind of scared me. So <laughs> I thought that was like a skeleton or something like that. But anyways, all right. So yeah, this is what I've been digging out. Well, if you're wondering why it's all sectioned off like this, well, what's the best way to eat an elephant? One bite at a time, and each of these is one bite. Uh, so basically, just a five by five column that just just dig straight down, and voila. All right. So let's take a, a top view of my mob trap. As you can see, I can't see much there, but I've actually, I think I'm at, I think this floor right here would be the seventh floor, I think, sixth or seventh floor that I've actually built onto the mob trap. Uh, I don't have the engine, to, to any video of the uh, building the engine or anything like that, or the trap itself, uh, but uh, that's because I tried recording it multiple times and something happened and it just screwed up and all that crap, so I was like, bah, screw it. I'll just uh, show you how I build it uh, when I build the second one. So yeah, that's the first one. Now the reason why I've got four, I'm going to be building four of them is, uh, well, it's a bit of a story, but I'll tell you anyway. Um, when I was first uh, planning on building this thing, uh, I actually, you know, I went into MS Paint or whatever, and you know, good old pixel art and all that kind of stuff. But uh, you know, I was going on based on the fact that the the spawn area in that uh, mob trap would be 16 by 16. So I built this thing accordingly. So 16 was the would be the uh, like right dead center would be 16 by 16, and then there's 24 blocks uh, on either side, and that the wall is at 24 blocks uh, away from the center. However, I did some back when I, when I was like pretty much almost done this thing before I filled in the roof. Uh, I found out that I, my math was a little wrong because the uh, the mob trap is actually the the spawn area is 17 by 17. So. I said, crap, so I figured, well, I didn't really want to move, like, move this, like, make this one step bigger just because of how freaking long it took me to build this thing, but, uh, so I thought, well, you know, you mix, you put two odd numbers together, and I think the, the overall, uh, I guess, blueprint of the, uh, the mob trap would be, uh, uh, 25 by 25, so, but two odd numbers together, you get an even number, right? Well, I went into MS, Microsoft Paint again, and then I tried, uh, you know, seeing if I could fit multiple in this thing. And alas and alack, I found out you can actually fit four of them uh, in, a, in a square formation inside this thing. That's how much room it takes. So this thing, entire this entire building takes up, is about 64 by 64. Uh, you know, not including the, uh, the the curve there, if you want to call that that. But, uh, but yeah, I can fit four of them in here. So this is the first one going up. Uh, so, all right, let's uh, probably hear the water back there, but... Uh, Let's go down here and see if we can collect anything that's uh, spawned since uh, I was last down here. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, lots of stuff. As you can see, it works beautifully. Still have trouble, I guess, at getting string, and uh, occasionally I'll get uh, gunpowder, I guess. But uh, you know, it seems like uh, this thing likes to favor uh, zombies and uh, skeletons more so. But oh well. 
Uh, all right, all right, and here's a, I guess you could say, the theater of the of the mob trap. Go up through here, and you can see things die. Unfortunately, there's nothing down here. Damn. All right, but yeah, this is basically what the trap is. It's just basically. Yeah, like right above me is the first floor of where the enemies spawn, so what they do, they, they end up falling in water, I like guess stream that's going along here, and then feeding into the, there's a, these holes in each of the corners, so the water feeds them into there, they drop down, and then they, they're forced into the, the lava here. I uh, got the extra space down there, so when they die, the uh, the spoils, if you will, like those, the sulfur and all that stuff, fall into the river down here, which lead down to this hole, which ultimately lead to that, uh, that uh, pickup point that I just showed you. So, yeah. <laughs> It's pretty cool when it, it looked pretty cool when I uh, when I had just had this part done. But uh, yeah, the only I, I guess technically I could have made the roof a bit shorter. But I thought you know what, let's uh, put it one higher just to make it not feel so claustrophobic. So I think I like I like the way it looks right now, I'm using a bit of the lava to light the place as well. So yeah, and unfortunately I haven't seen anything spawn. So let's go go down. But yeah, this is the Southwest Tower. <laughs> but yeah, as you probably tell, could tell when I went to the top of this thing, I'm going to be building these traps each, uh, all the way from the bedrock all the way up to the, uh, I heard something, all the way up to the uh, the clouds. So yeah, I think uh, I actually counted how much how many blocks were there were. I think from the bedrock all the way up to the clouds is 98 blocks for me. So uh, yeah, so it's a hey, creeper. All right, anyways, let's go up to the top here. And this is how far I've built it up. <laughs> but yeah, I was, uh, you could probably tell that I was, you know, I started clearing this place out. I was, you know, basically doing sweeps of it in, in lengths, if you will. Then I realized, if I'm going to be building, these, building four of these things, why not just, you know, dig down enough so that, or dig enough out so that I can build one, so I can at least start getting something out of it, and then, uh, you know, continue, you know, do it one at a time kind of thing, rather than just, you know, do it all at once and then build four towers, so I like the way this, this is going to be, just because uh, of the fact that it is a, just, you know, if I get tired of uh, mining, I can, you know, with all the, uh, the uh, sulfur or gunpowder or whatever, just make a whole bunch of D TNT and just blow the hell out of that, <laughs> that uh, whole uh, area there, so I was like, yeah, maybe I'll do that, but, uh, all right, so uh, hmm, I think I will uh, build the next floor for you guys uh, on screen. So, all right, I'll cut the video off here, and then the next step, ne next video will be me uh, building the next layer of this thing, so you can see how it's done. All right, see you then.